Hello, welcome to section 6 called Adding and Editing Tracks. In the previous section, we added a base map to our application and implemented pan and track editing modes. In this section, we'll implement the various map tools needed to let the user add, edit, and delete tracks. In this first video, we will implement the Add Track Map tool. This map tool lets the user add a new track to our Forest Trail system. We'll start by creating a helper class called Map Tool Mixin, which provides various helper methods we can use whenever we implement a new map tool. We'll then use this helper class to create the Add Track tool and then add this tool to our application. Since we're going to create a new map tool, we'll put our code into the maptools.py module. As you can see, we currently have one map tool, the Pan Tool class. Since we're going to create a whole bunch of map tools, we'll define a helper class which we'll call Map Tools Mixin to hold various methods which we will use over and over again across our various map tools. As the name suggests, this is a Mixin class, that is, a class our map tools inherit from to gain access to the helper methods. For now, we want to include the transform coordinates and calc tolerance methods we used in an earlier video. Here's what the code will look like. Notice that we've defined another method here called setLayer. This remembers the current layer for our map tool and simplifies our other methods as we don't need to supply the map layer each time. Now that we have our mixin class, let's use it to start defining our add track tool. As you can see, our new map tool will inherit from both QGS map tool and the map tool mixin class. Let's now define our init method. Now we implemented an add feature tool in an earlier video, so all this code should be quite familiar. The only difference here is that we call our mixin class's set layer method. The only difference is that we call our mixin class's set layer method to remember the current map layer. Calling this method also makes the current map layer available by our self.layer. Let's now implement the event handling methods for our class, starting with the canvas release event. As you can see, we're making use of several helper methods here. Let's now define the canvas move event. As you can see, we're calling the transform coordinate method within our mixin class. And finally, the key press event. We next need to implement those various helper methods. We'll start with the start capturing and stop capturing methods, which create and release the various rubber bands used by our map tool. Now we have the add vertex method, which adds a new vertex to the track. The next method we have to define is called remove last vertex. This deletes the last added vertex when the user presses the delete key. Let's now define the get captured points method. This method returns the list of points the user clicked on, or none if the user didn't click on enough points to make a valid line string. The final method we'll need is called points captured. This responds when the user finishes defining the new track by either right clicking or pressing on the return or enter key. Unlike all the other methods we defined so far, the points captured method will be quite different from what we implemented earlier. In this case, we'll create a new track feature, setting various default values for all our attributes, and then call the onTrackAdded function to notify the rest of the system that a new track has been added. This completes our add track tool. Let's now update our main program to use this map tool. The first thing we need to do is to create an instance of our new map tool in the setup map tools method. We now need to implement the add track method, which responds when the user clicks on our toolbar icon. As you can see, clicking on the toolbar icon will activate the add track tool, and clicking on it again will switch back to panning mode. The final thing we need to do is create a new helper method called on track added. This gets called when the user has finished adding a new track. As you can see, we set modified to true, update our UI, and then set back to panning mode again. In this video, we implemented the add track mode. We started by creating a mixin class to provide various helper methods for our various map tools, implemented the add track map tool itself, 
and then updated our first Trails window to use this new tool.